Hello and welcome to my kitchen and my channel. Today we're going to be preparing a milk pie, which is made with phyllo uh, pastry leaves, which is, you can use this for dessert as well. But we're going to be making a milk pie, which is milk and eggs, a lot of milk and eggs. So to our pan, we're just going to spray our pan, pan spray. We're going to put five whole eggs to our bowl. Yeah, it's a lot of eggs and uh, it's just called milk and egg pie. Gonna whisk these as well. We need one more egg for our topping. And also we're gonna put one cup of whole milk. One cup. A tablespoon, which I, my palm to this. Gonna put a crumble feta cheese in there. This is gonna be our mixture of our milk pie. Gonna put half a cup of vegetable oil. This is a very quick recipe. We use this for a lot of dinners. You can make your own phyllo sheets, but today I have just a bought once, and all we do is make the custard, which is milk, eggs, crumbled cheese, feta, and some salt. We're gonna put to this a two tablespoons of cottage cheese, and we're gonna use the rest for the topping. Preheat our oven at 380, high temperature. Make sure your oven is on before you put your milk pie in there. Put leave it to the side. We're gonna put one whole egg to our four tablespoons of cottage cheese. You can use ricotta, but I'm using cow cheese to this. This is gonna be for a topping. Give it a nice golden color. That's about four tablespoons in there. So all you do is just crumble it with your hands. You rip it off like this. You can use scissors, you can use hands as well. Like little chunks. And just put it all in one. It goes very fairly quick. This is delicious with yogurt to serve it hot. And it becomes like a custardy pie. Just rip it off. It's fun and it's delicious. So once you're shredded like this, put the milk there. Just zhuzhin it with our fork. Make sure it's all nice and wet, the, the fillers. Once you mix this, you can't mix it anymore. You're gonna let the egg do its work. And 
and you put it to bake. Make sure it, just with a fork, you don't need to do it with any other tool, just with a fork. Put it in the oven to bake, almost halfway through. Then we put our ricotta. So off to the oven we go. This is how we want nice and golden brown. All we do is scrape the sides and let it rest for a few minutes. If the sides are got stuck, just scrape them off and then you flip it. looks hope you enjoyed the video nice and soft golden brown till next time ciao